Hey guys, it's Adorable Ho. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing a kind of tutorial-ish thing. I'm going to be showing you guys how to terraform. Yeah, I've kind of got this like tumor on my world that I kind of need to like, I kind of need to suppress this tumor down a little bit. The essential tools for terraforming is probably a water bucket. If you want to add some water, like turn it into a lake or something, who knows. And always bring extra buckets just in case. Also, if you really need to get rid of a lot of material, some TNT and flint and steel is a great start. You know what, I just kind of recommend bringing a full set of tools. Even a hoe. You'll never know when you'll need a hoe. Now, in this video, I'm going to be terraforming this ugly little area right here. This didn't generate very well, and like, it generated all this, all this garbage that's kind of in the way. It just makes it kind of look more natural. Oh, whoops. Yeah, so you'll want to kind of break this down a little bit. Kind of try to make it look natural. It's, 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 just make it look a lot nicer than the bummy generation that this world offers. Right, so sometimes you might want to like set some things on fire just because it kind of helps get rid of it. You can let that go while you uh, do something else. You know, try not to um, work too hard. Just kind of take it easy and think about what you're doing, what you want it to look like. Just make it look a little less ugly, obviously. Now, as we tone this down, you'll see that it is beginning to look a little more natural and not like a computer generated it. Sometimes trees look really nice in builds, but otherwise they're just kind of in the way and they don't make land look very good, so you're going to want to get rid of those. Okay, so if you have some K's that you need to deal with like this, you're going to want to uh, fill them in. So uh, I didn't bring stone with me, so I guess we can just begin to start filling this in. And also keep in mind that you might want to try to harvest some valuable materials you might need later on. Alright, so we're just about done filling in the caves. Now the reason you'll want to fill in these caves while terraforming is because first of all if you're gonna build something in this area you don't want mobs to spawn and second of all it just makes it look cleaner and just like that we've filled in the caves alright so for this next step there's still kind of a lot of land here and I just kinda of wanna get rid of it quickly so that's when this comes into play technically you don't have to use TNT it just kind of makes the job a little bit easier if you have to get rid of lots of um, terrain. And this is why we bring a sword with us, fellas. Oh, that works too. Alright, we only have one thing left and that's we need to get rid of some of these added features that the natural generation likes to put in for some reason, which I don't know why. It just kind of doesn't look right. So you want to get rid of this stuff, it's just, it really sticks out like a sore thumb, you know? You want to make sure that you get rid of all of it. Okay, and for the final addition to my terraforming project, I'm going to just play some water, make it look like a waterfall, give it some, some nice appearance. All right, so as you guys can see, I have turned what looked like an ugly lump in my world, and I have made it into a very nice looking piece of scenery. And thanks to my tutorial, now you can. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, hope you learned something new. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.